YouTube, what's poppin'? It's Hey Ange, not Angie, and I'm back with another video. This video is another log girl hack, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieved this ponytail. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. Hey y'all, so let's just start with what you need. So I got me some scrunchies. I got my favorite edge control and my little toothbrush. I got me some oil to moisturize my scalp and some crochet locks. This is Bobby Boss New Locks. 24 inches in the color one. I know my hair ain't the color one y'all, but let's just act like we don't see that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this is what I used. Okay, right here, I'm just putting my hair in a really, really sleek, tight, neat bun. Um, I'm really anal and like so serious about my buns and stuff. Like I need my shit to be a lay and just so flat because I'm just that type of girl. I just love when it's really, really neat and really, really flat. So I'm just taking my time and doing my bun. Y'all, so to be like successful with this style, you need to put your hair in a bun. Um, you want to try to get your hair, your bun as small as possible. So the shorter your hair is for this, the better because I kind of had a little time. Okay, I was struggling a little bit because I could not get my bun to be like really, really small. Um, and I know a lot of you all will have the same problem because... You guys have thick locks or you know longer hair whatever the case may be but you really need your bun to be small so here i am just trying to get my bun as small as i possibly can and it just wasn't working okay like it wasn't working so here is my finished bun um this is probably the smallest my bun could possibly get it will not get any smaller than this and this is still too big like it just would show like it would be hard to camouflage once i try to you know put my ponytail on so yeah it just wasn't gonna work so i took it out and tried to do it over and this is the second bun <laughs> um it's not much different it's still kind of big and still kind of obnoxious and just not going to work so at this point i was like damn i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pull this off because my hair isn't short enough and i can't get my bun as small as i need it to be so then i decided that i was going to try something else so i tried to do kind of like a log style ponytail to where as though it wasn't really like like a round shape bun it was more like a, a kind of a cylinder oval kind of shape bun so what i did was i put rubber bands all the way down the shaft of my ponytail so i put one like there in the middle and then i'm gonna put one closer to the ends and then i'm going to just fold this kind of like in half and tuck it under so it's kind of still a bun it's kind of hard to explain but um you'll see what i'm talking about when i am finished <laughs> but yeah this was kind of the best option for me even though my hair was too long it's actually longer than what i expected it to be but if you have shorter locks then just getting your bun as small as possible will probably work for you I'm just putting rubber bands down the shaft of my ponytail trying to make it as skinny as I possibly can get it all the way down to the very end and then once I have all of the ponytails at the end I am just folding it under the ends under to still make a bun 
but just a different kind of bun. <laughs> So this is my final result. Um, still a bun, just a different kind of bun, more skinny bun. <laughs> yeah, so this kind of worked for me. After I got my bun together, I started making my little phony ponies. That's what I call them. So what I did was take the crochet hair, the crochet lock. You know, it come with a little loop. This hair was a kind of different texture, so the loop wasn't as obvious. I kind of had to separate it a little bit to, you know, get the loop to show, but is there and then i put it through well around the scrunchie or hair tie and then i just pulled the end of the crochet lock through and kind of make a knot around the scrunchie and yeah i just did that for the whole pack i did one pack of crochet locks per scrunchie so i have about two or three of these that i used um to do this style so about two to three packs of this crochet hair the more hair you have um the easier it is to kind of camouflage your natural bun or ponytail because you know you have more hair to work with Y'all probably like, okay, girl, I get it. How many times you gonna show us you doing this? But I just wanted to show you guys so y'all can see the whole process and so that y'all can see even the struggles that I went through. Um, You just wanna take your time and be kind of careful because you don't wanna mess up the lock. You still want it to be kind of neat, especially when you wanna, you know, wear it for a couple of days or multiple times. You just don't want it to be unraveling or kind of messed up. So just take your time during this step and make sure that you are not ruining the locks when you are pulling them through and just kind of taking your time um wrapping them around the hair tie or the scrunchie okay so that was my last one and i now have two phony ponies and they are so cute my only dilemma is they don't really match <laughs> my hair color so these are in the color one which is like super jet black and my hair was dyed jet black but then i ended up bleaching it again but whatever we still gonna rock out now it's time to put it on now that you have your phony ponies put it on sis so, um, being that we use the scrunchie, it's super easy to put it on, and it do not matter how you put it on, just put it on, sis. So as you can see, I put one over the top and then one over the bottom. Um, I ended up adding a third one over the top to um, cover my bun, my natural hair underneath, but I did not record, so yeah. But right now I'm just kind of adjusting it, trying to um, camouflage it more and all that kind of stuff. And then once I have it all 
all my pony ponies in i'm going to kind of make it look seamless by adding this little piece of fabric um around the base of my ponytail just took the fabric and just wrapped it around and as i wrapped it around i kind of made sure that i pulled the the hair kind of over my natural bun to put my natural bun kind of in the back of it so that it just wasn't showing and that you know it camouflaged really well and it worked for me um i actually really love this like this is about to be my go-to whenever i want some inches i'm gonna be putting my phony ponies on and a bitch ain't gonna be able to tell me a motherfucking thing okay <laughs> but yeah this is kind of like the end um this is just how I did it. This is what it's looking like. At this point, I'm just making sure it's not pulling too much or putting too much tension on, you know, my hair and making sure that it's camouflaged. And yeah, if it was my color correctly, it would be bomb. But yeah, this is just me showing. I'm about to do my edges. And yeah, we lit. We fucking lit, bitch. Yeah, y'all can't tell me nothing. A motherfucking thing. But that's it, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you try this, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it worked for you, if you liked it. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>